while we're working with acetone we'll do another experiment another bottle bottle's not quite clean but Should be all right. Grab the acetone. Pour some in. Okay, acetone and. Polystyrene. Hmm. What happens, do you think, if we put the polystyrene into the acetone? I'll just move the other one out of the road. Are you ready? It just basically goes into nothing. Uh. Look at that. Gone. It's not gone, it's it's still in there. So what it's one way to get rid of your polystyrene polystyrene sorry, your expanded polystyrene foam. Any packing material that you've got. The weirdest, the weirdest thing about this is that, is that if you did, um, don't do this everyone, but if for example like you did put this melted polystyrene into the oven, it would expand it again, which is quite funny to see. You will come to a saturation point. It is quite fun. If you ever do any searching on YouTube and you can you occasionally see that when they do the um, when they recycle polystyrene 
they melt, they melt it down first. But they don't do it this way. They melt it in their, um, in a heating um, chamber. Then they screwed it out into these um, big blocks. Looks rather gross, actually. And it's done. Then I imagine they just heat that up and use it from there. Use it into whatever um, thing they're going to make. Alright, that's probably enough now. Yeah, still in here, so that's... That's what happens when you melt... Oop. You're not melting, but what, that's when you... Um, with polystyrene, expanded polystyrene with acetone. Just dissolves away almost. But what you can do is You can shape it. It's rather sticky. Ugh. Oh, sticky. You can shape the shape it into whatever shape you want. You can try to, anyway. Yeah. Some people have made masks out of it. With our pot, with our uh, melted polystyrene, extended, expanded polystyrene, we're going to see if we can make a sheet. Put some bad paper or baking paper in Australia, you know. What we want to do is take out some of this uh, rather gooey. Yeah, look at that. Like I say, it sticks to you. Probably be a good idea to use some sort of like spatula or something like that. Put the leftovers back in the back in the bottle. It will remelt. Why not? Just rub your hands together, and it'll just form. It'll dry up, and it'll just fall on, fall on the floor. Then you can just sweep it, pick it up, and put it in the bin. Why not? What we should, really should do is just. Lump it together, start off with. If we 
if we had a mould we could even um, um, push it into a mould but oh no, we don't alright, just cover it we have our other plate that we can press it with just press it down We could clamp it, but we don't have a clamp, clamp at the moment. Now we have a flat piece of expanded polystyrene. Actually, I'm not quite sure what to call it after it's been, been melted in the um, acetone. Any ideas? And there we go, look at that. It's still wet to the touch, but you can let that dry, which we will let it dry, and we can see what it looks like. Anyway, you can you can do a few of those, or you can do whatever you like. That's all you need to do, just make sure it's flat and squish it. And it will take a lot shorter time to dry because it's a bigger set it's a bigger surface area and it's quite thin. Once the acetone evaporates away then it'll harden up. That's just moved from um, one paper over to the other paper. Still wet. Just let that dry. Probably half hour. And we'll come back. Bye. An update. With the with the previous polyster, expanded polystyrene that I had I had melted in the acetone, this is the this is the sheet that I got out of when I had pressed it together. It does have holes in, as you can as you can see. Hole here, Lot, lots of holes in it really. But is this has probably been oh, half hour, half hour since I've um, since I squished it between the tiles. Yes. So this this too. Even though it's not necessarily a, um, good modelling material at the moment, but it doesn't necessarily mean it can't be used. Possibly it could be used for um, water. Wanted to make something look like water. Bubbles. Even the a moonscape or something like that. I will show you, give you an update in a in the morning because this ideally should should possibly go harder than this.
this? It's quite... You could, you could even cut little sections out of here, put them on your seat in, seats in the car, making car model, put it on the dash. Maybe it looks a little bit like dash material. Paint it. Yes. It has a, a certain texture to it. Oh no. Show you an update of that in the morning. See what it's like after a couple of hours. It's rather flexible at the moment. No signs of it being still wet of wet with acetone. You smell it, doesn't really smell of acetone ish. So the edges are starting to like really crisp up, but the center's quite flexible. Update in the morning. Bye. G'day, update. It's been, it's been overnight. Been a few hours. Quite hard, and it'd be quite, and it'd be brittle as well. What we can use it for, I don't really know at the moment. But it's quite thin, as you can see. It has a weird tech, not weird texture, but. Yes, I oh, know. You could use, we could probably use it for modelling, but just need to find the right uses for it. But the thicker, thicker, thicker it is, the more it's doesn't quite doesn't really look like this. So my money is the thinner stuff will work. Thicker stuff, oh, I just don't really like it. Well, anyway, just have to find a use for it then, eh? Well, anyway, that was that.